Tom Browning once threw a perfect game, but that's not even the most interesting thing about him. Drafted by the Reds in 1981, Browning quickly rose through the minor leagues and made the big league club in 1984. He was extremely superstitious and would only shave on days when he started, while also wearing red underwear when he pitched. In 1988, Browning threw the 12th perfect game in Major League Baseball history, taking down the mighty LA Dodgers. During the 1990 World Series, Browning's wife went into labor during Game 2, so he left the stadium without telling anyone to accompany his wife. As the game progressed, manager Lou Pinella frantically searched for his pitcher, with no luck. So during the nationally televised broadcast of the game, they asked Browning to return to the stadium. You know, we've got a rather unusual message. We understand that Tom Browning's wife, Debbie, has gone into labor. He has left the ballpark, and a call apparently has just come up from the Reds clubhouse to make an appeal over our airwaves for Tom Browning to come back to the ballpark in the event that they have to use him to pitch tonight. He didn't hear the messages, and the Reds eventually won the game and the series. When the Reds visited the Cubs at Wrigley Field in 1993, Browning snuck out of the dugout to hang out with fans across the street atop the Wrigley rooftops in full uniform, earning him a fine from his manager. He'll go down as one of the most interesting men to play baseball.